So we will prove um, the open mapping theorem by using Rocher's theorem. And yeah, so let's start. So oops, let D be a domain in the complex numbers. So it's open and connected. And let F from D to the complex plane be a non-constant and holomorphic map. And now the statement is that F is open. So what does that mean? That just means that F takes open sets to open sets. Okay, so in order to prove it, first note that it suffices to show that the set f of d is open. So, well, here the d is arbitrary, so um, we can just um, show that um, it holds for f of d, but one little bit caution, it's not entirely arbitrary here, it's a domain, but then um, a function is well behaved with respect to unions, so the image is well behaved with respect to unions, so um, if we have, let's say, two disjoint um, subsets d1 and d. Oh, I think I want to use d1 data, so maybe let's say u1 and u2, or not even not necessarily disjoint, then we have this. So as we can write every open set as a union of disks, the disks are, then we have that the image of these disks are open, and so also the image is open, even if the subset of D is not a domain. Okay, so that's why it it's enough to show that f of d is open. Now let's show that. So let's take a point in the image and let's write it as f of some c0 where c0 is in the domain d. And now we consider another map, namely we consider the map g which is f minus w naught. So the reason why we consider this is because it has a zero at w naught. And we want to apply Rouché's theorem. So let's take d1 to be a subset of d, namely a disk around c naught. And we want G to have <coughs> only, <coughs> only one root in the closed disk, so in the closure of D1. And, well, maybe let me uh, say here that this is possible by the identity theorem for holomorphic functions. Okay, and now let's take m to be the minimum of the points on the boundary of d1 over the modulus of g of c. And note that this minimum is uh, greater than zero. At first it exists because this is just a circle, so it's a compact set. 
and the minimum exists and it's greater than zero because we assumed that g has only one root in this disk and that's certainly at c naught and not at the boundary okay and now we take w to be so this disk here is a subset of d and now we take a disk at the other side so we take a disk around w naught of radius m so just to emphasize it at first we take a disk around c naught now we have a disk around w naught so this is the pre-image of um, w naught okay and what do we want to show well we want to show that w is a subset of f of t okay so let's take an element w1 and w and consider the function h to be f minus w1 so we want to show that this function has a zero um, in order to conclude that w1 is in the image and well i already mentioned that we want to use Fouché's theorem so let's write h as g plus w naught minus w1 so where do we have g here we have g so if we add w naught and subtract w1 we have exactly h and we also see that w0 minus w1, so the modulus of this, is less than m. Why is that? Well, where have I written it down? So the disk w has radius m and it's around w0, so this is just by definition. And so we can apply uh, Rocher's theorem and we get that H and G have the same number of zeros in D1. Okay, so maybe let me uh, mention that um, so in Rocher's theorem we normally have two functions and this is the second second function which is just constant. Okay, and, and well, they have the same number of zeros, so we definitely know that um, the function sg has a zero at c0, so g is this, so it has a zero at c0, so also h has a zero, and we can write w1 as f of c1 for some c1 and d1 and now we can also write we know that this is in the image and so w is a subset of the image of oh wait i wanted to say well is d1 
Well, actually, d1 is correct. d would have been enough. But yeah, that also works. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that's the proof. And... Yeah, maybe we'll see in another video the uh, Rouget's theorem, which we used here to prove the open mapping theorem. Okay, that's it for today. Have a good day and see you another time. Bye.